and we are back for part two and yes the background looks the same from the last video if you've been watching but this is a totally different video this is part two we are back again with living tours and we are going on another day trip from Porto to Braga and we also will stop at uh, a medieval castle Yes, lots in store for you guys. And of course, we have teamed up with Living Tours and they are one of the biggest tour companies. We're going to take you on this tour and we're gonna let you know whether it's worth it or not. We're gonna take you all through, give you all the information you need to know so you can decide whether Living Tours is the right tour company for you. Let's go check in and get on the bus. Just, Just be out, out with, with us. us. It was a quick under an hour drive and we made it to our first stop we're now in Braga to on the highest point in Braga actually we are in the Sanctuario Bon Jesus de Monte or Sanctuary of Good Jesus of the Mountain from this sanctuary it opens up the view of the entire city Braga is on the north of Portugal and even though it's just a 45 minute drive the weather here gets much colder and many times it gets rainy so right now it's overcast we left uh, the city of Porto it was um, pretty sunny but right now we're heading to the sanctuary so let's look at the views is really beautiful it all started in the 14th century there is a natural cave and all of a sudden a wooden cross appeared in the cave so people started to come to the cave and pray for miracles uh, at that time there was a, a plague going going around and they were uh, coming to the cave and started to pray for to the cross for miracles uh, to wish better health and uh, the miracles were happening so more and more people were starting to come here to this area and then all of a sudden that cross disappeared but more people would still come to the cave to pray this area started to attract a lot of pilgrims this area started to be more and more popular because of that uh, they built four different hotels to accommodate uh, uh, people uh, after they come here to pray uh, they would accommodate in the hotels and there are also um, different chapels here and the beautiful church uh, there are a lot of uh, statues here in the chapels and in the church uh, represented different stages of life of Jesus telling a story of uh, his um, hardship and his life our thoughts on this place, it is absolutely beautiful and it's a must visit. It's definitely special here. I wish I had a little bit more time because I was running around filming, but of course with you, you'll have way enough time to kind of walk around on this tour, and take, take so much photos. What takes the most time is the grand staircase. It is truly amazing, lined with statues. It's just layers and layers and layers and layers. Now, you do have to go down a ways, but it's really short steps. It's about maybe seven steps per layer. Coming back up, it does take a little bit longer, of course, but that's probably what's going to consume most of your time here, just because it's a long way down and it's a long way up, and it's beautiful all the way down, and it's beautiful all the way up, because what you see going down, you won't see coming back up. It's a totally different perspective yeah, this, and views. The statues are rotated facing down towards the city mm -hmm. uh, or downhill and um, you will only see the front of the statues when you actually go up the stairs. And a tip, once you're down at the bottom, you want to align yourself. There's a like a huge uh, circle. You want to align yourself in the center of the circle and you will see all the statues perfectly aligned up the staircase and they're all looking down at you. 
it is truly amazing and another tip there is a restroom here but you do have to pay for it 50 cents so be sure you have some cash with you if you like to use the restrooms there are also a cafes where you can get some snacks drinks ice cream it is a must to visit here while in Braga and now we are heading down to the city center to see the historic center of Braga. Just, just be, be out, out with us. us. We just arrived to the historic city of Braga. Braga is one of the oldest cities in Portugal. It is uh, almost 2,000 years old. And now we are going on a quick tour through the city center with our guide. The city of Braga is the third largest city in Portugal. And we just learned that it used to be a wall surrounding the city and they broke down the wall and the um, gate that we went through used to be the main gate to get into the town. The beautiful building that you see behind me that looks like a castle used to belong to a bishop and now it belongs to a Minion University. And right in front of it there is a beautiful 18th century Baroque garden that is called after Saint Barbara. Now when there is bad weather in Braga, people pray to Saint Barbara to uh, for the weather to get better but this garden has been preserved for thousands of years and there is always gar gardeners working in it and planting new plants and flowers the castle that we just saw this is the other side of it and this is the square in front of the castle and the statue that you see right in the center of it on top there is a statue of a man and that's actually the personification of braga city in Portugal, there is a thing to make statues for every city and make it a person. So the person that you see right on top of uh, this sculpture is Braga and they made a person out of it. And you can also see one in Porto as well. They made a man that they call it Porto for the city. We are now inside of the most important structure of Braga, Se Braga or Braga Cathedral. This cathedral is an 11th century cathedral, but this structure that we are standing in right now, well, the outdoor part of it, is actually a newer addition to it. This is an 18th century structure. Back in the days, monks were not even allowed to leave the cathedral, and they were almost imprisoned here, and they had to stay here in the walls of the cathedral and pray here and live their entire life. So this little square was built for them to uh, come outside and get a little bit of fresh air and the sunlight. We're now inside of the main building of um, Braga Cathedral and I cannot believe this is almost a thousand year old structure. It is incredible here. The columns that you see um, actually used to um, have two purposes. One is to support the roof. The roof used to be granite and then they took it down and they built a regular wood roof. And the second purpose of um, those columns is to block the view for the poor class people. Uh, back in the days when it used to be class segregation, the rich and more wealthy people used to sit in the middle aisle here so they can see the mass and they can hear the mass and they can see the main chapel. And the poor people used to sit on the side so they could only allow to hear the mass. They were not allowed to see the mass. And that's how all these columns actually were blocking the view for the lower class people. People. In the back of this cathedral there is an impressive two organs covered with uh, different sculptures. The sculptures are made out of wood and covered with gold 
this um, Baroque 18th century organs uh, have one uh, over 2,000 pieces and the other 1,200 pieces. And the most impressive part about this cathedral uh, is that it is still active. Every Sunday they hold a mass here and people come here to pray. The historic center of Braga is absolutely beautiful. It is really small, so we walked around and were able to see the main attractions of the historic center. The city, however, is uh, uh, much bigger. The more modern part of the city built around the historic center, but um, the historic center it, by itself is really small. It's really small, yes. So we're at the point of this tour where we're actually actually going to break for lunch it's just about 12 noon we've gotten so much done and we've seen so much amazing things already and learned so much so now we're about to go to lunch and we're going to show you what that will look like and the best part is that the lunch is included in this tour on the table for lunch we have green wine this is actually the first time we're trying green wine yesterday on our tour uh, we passed through the region where they uh, use where they grow the grapes for green wine and um, this um, the the green wine means not because it's the color green it's because it is young they only use uh, three months before they bottle the wine so uh, it's very light and it comes in white or red color uh, and uh, most of the time it has a few bubbles inside and also for our appetizers we got vegetable soup it is uh, mostly creamy there is only a few pieces of vegetables I see some greens and onion but uh, it does taste very rich and silky great flavor they also brought a plate of salad for everyone to share our main course arrived you have an option of pork or grilled fish this is uh, the rata fish and also if you want a vegetarian option they can accommodate you as well the potatoes are done in like a, a garlic um, butter sauce really good and for dessert they brought us a slice of pineapple and ice cream and of course coffee is coming as well our lunch was spot on and now we are heading to Gimares. It's another wonderful spot on the north of Portugal. And it is only 20 minutes away from Braga. We just arrived to Guimarães. Right behind me, you can see the Guimarães castle. This is where one of the Portuguese kings were born. Guimarães has a, a big significance to uh, the history of Portugal. Here is where they had one of the important historical battles. And back in the days when the Portuguese kingdom was uh, establishing, uh, this city was actually a capital of Portugal. The entire city of Guimarães is now protected by UNESCO. It is a World Heritage Site. Let's go and take a closer look of the castle. This castle is located on the highest part of the city and from here you can walk down towards the historic center of the city. Coming here, I had expectations that uh, there was a castle that people actually lived in and I didn't know that, uh, as I mentioned before, it was only built for protection of the man monastery originally. So it is very simple and very basic inside and you will need only about 10 minutes to look around. And now from the top of the hill, we are heading down to the historic city center. This is the last stop of our tour to Gimarish and this is Gimarish main square. It is really small but super charming here. There are lots of cafe, the monument is here, church, there is a, an olive tree here and this is uh, the end of our trip to Braga and Gimarish. The tour was epic. We learned so much. This place is just incredible. It's like you're stepping back in time 
it's like untouched. I've never really experienced anything like this before. It is very historical and well preserved as well. Our guide was excellent and he spoke two languages. Everything he explained in English, he translated everything in Portuguese. Okay. If you watched all the way till the end and you think you would want to take the same tour, we will leave the exact link to this tour in the description below. It is a great value for only 65 euros. It included the guide, the bus, uh, lunch, and the admissions to uh, all the places that we visited as well. And you'll get a little discount, so that's It is a good thing. also in the description. This is our second tour with Living Tours and we thank Living Tours for providing this awesome day trip for us. If you haven't seen our other video when we went to Doro Valley, we will leave the link in the description. It's a must experience. With your support, we will continue making informative travel videos like this to help you get the most out of your vacation. Obrigada so much for watching and as usual, just be out with us.